Hello everyone, hello everybody. Now this is another part, well another edition of Kineticon 2012. Now s since you've seen my last video, I already told you guys that I had a blast, a fun time. Now this video is basically, uh, this, is ba this video is basically where I'm going to ask people like how they made their own costumes and uh, how long it took them because I don't know, I'm the first guy that ever done this on video. Well, I'm also going to interview them, like, why they picked this costume. Well, I, not, not really why, but pretty obvious. I guess it's pretty much self-explanatory. So, uh, so right now I'm going to show you guys uh, the video of uh, the cosplayers. Hi guys, this is Nightwinky DK. This time I'm doing a video, well, a very special video. Special video. And here I am in Kineticon 2012, the greatest place to be. And right now I'm interviewing Lady Hawkeye. Hi, um, I'm cosplaying Kate Bishop right now from Young Avengers. So she's Hawkeye too. Um, my YouTube is you know, JB9247. Oh, um, I just got a question. Is that a real bow? It is a real bow. It's a junior's bow that I got on Amazon. I just got a question, like for the tubes, um, are they like, um, like extra bows or, um... Do I have extra space? No, 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 I'm talking about the thing that's on your leg. Oh, these? These are, um, saddle stakes. So these are actually locking birds for people who know the comics. So she has the bow from Hawkeye and the battle stakes from Mockingbird. And actually in the comics she also has the sword from Swordsman. But I didn't want to grab that too because I was just looking at too much stuff going on. Oh yeah, I, I completely understand. No, it's just like Robin's uh, bow staff, like you connect it, uh, I'm sorry, you connect it. Sorry, what? I'm sorry. It's just like Robin's bow staff, you know, like the third Robin, like, like yep. just snap it on. Yep, they, um, the real ones extend. Unfortunately, mine don't because they're spray-painted um, hollow plastic tubes, so they don't actually extend. The real ones do. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, uh, what do you think about the Avengers and, well, what do you think about Hawkeye and the Avengers? In the latest movie? Yes. I thought it was good. I mean, I was really excited that they included him. I mean, they definitely went way more ultimates. Um, I think everyone would have loved to have a little bit more humor, like the original Hawkeye. Who's, oh, yeah, the, the, know, the old wise-ass wise one. Cracker, yeah, you know, I so love that one. I think that they didn't really give him enough chance to... If, I couldn't really tell which version they were going for, per se, because, you know, half the time he's possessed, and the other half the time he's got two lines. So maybe if they, you know, do another movie, and he's got a little more screen time, he'll have a chance to show a little bit more of the sarcasm that we all love. But, um, you know, I kind of wish they... Like, what? Oh, yeah. You know, I just kind of wish in the movie they had, like, his classic costume, because, like, for me... Like, I don't, like, you gotta agree, like, his costume looks a little bit, like, X-Men-like. Like, I mean, like, everybody in the Ultimate, except for Spider-Man, maybe Captain America. Like, their costume looks very similar to X-Men, so the movie X-Men. Yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, it depends on how much time they could give to explaining it, because his costume makes a little bit more sense if you know the circus background, I guess. But with the list a little time, I think that people would have complained that it didn't really make sense. And so the Kevlar vest is, you know, maybe a little more practical. As you can see, Kate Bishop does not care about her vital organs. <laughs> so, you know, I appreciate when they have a little bit of realism in the costumes, but at the same time, I think we'd all, of course, love to see the classic hot guy. But, you know, I'm hoping for, you know, Black Widow, I think, is getting an origin story. You know, I'd love to see a Hawkeye one. We'll oh, yeah, yeah. I would love to see, like, a Hawkeye solo movie. And, like, like do you know all the villains? Like I, I know the villains, but I like, know a of them. like you, you're aware of the the swordsmen. Uh, yeah, yeah. Which is, oh, I think it's so ironic that Kate has the sword from swordsmen. <laughs> I was like, Kate, that's uh, that's inappropriate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, for, now, hopefully, I remember this correctly. He, like for Hawkeye, he went by the name of Ronan. Am I saying that right? Yeah, he did for a little bit after they. Um, I think it's after they thought he was dead, and then he goes by Ronan. That's actually the timeline that Kate comes in on. So while he's still going around as Ronan, that they think he's dead, Kate picks up, and she actually has this real bow because Captain thinks he's dead, so he passes it on to her. And then it turns out he's alive, and he comes to take it back. So it's a pretty funny comic between the two of them. Oh yeah, like passing, like uh, like passing. I'm oh, sorry. Like passing the, the torch. Yeah, yeah. But in a funny way. Yeah, that's kind of like what the Young Avengers is. They have, they're not all exact matches per se, you know, they're all pretty different. 
you know, Kate, of course, fights with a whole bunch of different weapons. Hawkeye's just an archer. Um, so it's they're similar, but they're all different. So it's fun. It's a really good comic series. Yeah. So like I, I've seen that like in real life. Like, do you like um, do any archery or? I don't. However, I did sign up for an archery class a couple months ago. So I'm excited to finally, you know, be able to learn. So I've always wanted to, but I've never had the chance. Yeah, and I just seen you know, like uh, obviously I, I don't know if you made a costume or not, but um. I, I made everything but the shirt. My friend sewed the shirt for me. Uh, she's actually doing costuming at her school. I made uh, the battle staves. I sewed my elastics. The quiver actually took the longest because these aren't real arrows. I made them myself out of dowels and feathers. Oh yeah. Um, and some felt and foam. So you know, I made the accessories and you know the outfit, and the sunglasses, of course. But the shirt Yeah, so um, one last question because I don't want to get to the, well, I don't want to get get to the point where it starts to annoy the crap out of you. But uh, do you wish that um, that Lady Hawkeye would show up like in a Hawkeye um, Hawkeye Two or Hawkeye Three? Uh, the comics. Well, like bringing the comic book character in like in the Clint Burton's uh, movie, Barton's movie. Which, uh, sorry, which one? Uh, Kate Bishop show up with Hawkeye, or Hawkeye show up in another? No, no Kate, Kate Bishop like shows up in um, in Hawkeye. Uh, actually, there's a comic coming out uh, August 1st. I'm so excited for it. It's going to be um, it's the new Hawkeye comic. I, I forget the artist, but they're brilliant. And it's going to be Barton going around with Kate as his sort of protege that he's mentoring. Like and a so, sidekick. Yeah, so they're, the two of them are going to go around and I guess shoot arrows and be awesome. So I'm super excited. So actually, they're doing that soon. So I can't yeah. Um, what do you think about Marvel now? Marvel now? I mean, to be honest, I'm a pretty recent comic book fan. Um, before that, I was really into a lot of sci-fi. So, I recently, when my friend introduced me to Young Avengers, I really started getting into Marvel. So, I've kind of gone backwards, starting with the young kids and going back to the originals. So, oh, yeah. I don't think I'd be the best judge of how it's changed. But, I mean, I love it. I think there's a great place for Marvel. Oh yeah, absolutely. I, I completely agree with you. Like, um, I like for me, like the only characters from the Young Avengers I actually liked was um, was Hulking because he was the he, I'm sorry, he was the son of Captain Marvel and yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the Scroll. Uh, was he a queen or princess? She was a princess. I'm not. I have to check it out. Uh, uh, it's too bad she got killed by Galactus, but uh, so like my my character is like my favorite character is Hulking. Iron Lad and Patriot. Yeah, I feel like Patriot did a good job. Okay, now uh, do you have anything else to say, like before I end this, um, end this part? Yeah, uh, don't forget to subscribe to Nightwing TKG. TGK. TGK. All right, thanks. Yeah, uh, it's like any chance we can get like a classic pose, like uh, you like doing uh, the Archer pose. Okay, people. Okay, people. Now we're back to uh, well, the second part of cosplay interviewing, whatever you want to call it. And I have here like three Naruto characters. And uh, who are you guys supposed to be? I'm Pain. So, like, what do you guys think about the new movie, uh, Naruto Road to Ninja? I thought it was pretty good. It was really good. I liked it. I haven't seen it yet, but I really want to. Cause I you need to. I can't think you've seen it. Don't tell me. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. And you know, I'm just really glad they went to, like, new, uh, redesign with characters. And, uh, yeah, definitely. Like, Naruto looks like, well... <laughs> I, 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 I can't... I had it in my mind, but I, for some reason I forgot. Um, she dressed similar to. Forgot. It's okay. We'll give you a moment. Collect your thoughts. Come back to you.
Yeah, so like, um, like how do you guys like make your costumes? Um, like, is this like custom made by you guys or? Well, you guys don't have to use real names if you don't want to. So, if you want, I can stop this video and restart this. No, no, no. Are you sure I can edit this? Except for this part. But. So, um, obviously, like you in the middle are dressed as pain, and I just want to say, uh, not bad. Like, uh, like are those actually makeups, like for the piercings? Yeah, I, I can't see anybody willing to go through the extra pain, like, the physical stuff, and if I ever try to get one, like, God help me. So, like, I just, you know, like, for the helmets, so, uh, is that, like, made? Did you, like, guys, like, buy online? Bought online? No, I, I said, like, for the, for the headbands, like, did you guys let you, um, I'm sorry, you guys let you, like, bought it online, or? Yeah, we bought it online, we get it, like, on Amazon or eBay. Those are the two main ones that we go to. We don't really go anywhere else. Yeah. No, I just you know, like for the for the Nazi jumpsuit jacket. Now, uh, can you actually go outside in public? Like, say, like it's cold out in the winter time. Like, is it allowed to go? To school? Wait, are you guys allowed to go to school wearing that? Um. Well, I did wear this once, but it was only for a brief moment, and I got so many stares and comments that I just let her wear yeah, for the rest so of the day. Yeah. So I I wore it like all during school. And outside in public, and I used to wear it like all the time. I'm new to the whole cosplaying thing, and I'm still getting used to like, you know, letting people see me like this. So this is a good experience for me. This connect, you know, well, just to like see other people doing it and knowing that. Yeah, well, like for me, this is very new for me too because this is my first time here. Yeah, same here. So like right now, I'm actually dressing up as the Punisher, but for the movies and various comic books. I don't know if you guys read comic books or not. But. And I just, you know, like, what do you think about, like, um, the whole Naruto universe, like, Naruto now, like, um, like, are you guys, like, up to date with, um, well, obviously you in the middle, so up to date, so. So, like, I, so, like, are you guys, like, up to date with, like, um, with Naruto and the characters now? Yeah, there's actually still episodes coming out, so I'm, like, still up to date. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Same thing with me. Like I just go. Well, I'm not saying I go on Wikipedia, but like I'm on YouTube. Since I'm like, well, too cheap to buy it. I'm, like go on YouTube, like see if they like got the latest manga issue. Yeah. And um, what do you guys think think about the uh, not not just like costume or, or suit? Like um, does it kind of remind you of some uh, of someplace else? Well, was well, this black and orange jacket? Like does it remind you of Spider Man or? Um, Man, there was a specific like character that he kind of reminded me of with that new suit, but I can't place it at the moment. Oh, there's Kiba right behind you. Oh, no, he's left. Okay. Um. I don't know if you guys have time, but like I got like a few more questions. Uh, it's for YouTube. If you want, I can edit this part out. Edit this part out. Okay. No, no. If if you want to, I'm all about free will. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Like. Yeah. So like, have you guys actually like seen that? Well, apparently they made like a Naruto fan film. You guys know what fan films are? Yeah. 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 So someone made this like this Naruto fan film, and they were the same guy that did um, same guys that did Street Fighter X Tekken, the Devil Fin. But like for, for the Naruto fan film, it's called like Naruto. I think it's called Dream Fighters. It has like Naruto Rock Lee. Oh yeah. yeah. You guys, you guys seen that one? Yeah. They they like they're cool. Oh yeah, really cool. Hello, I am a Cobra Tear in the Dark Night of Cobra. 
I patrol the skies looking for crime, looking for those jokers who try to terrorize our American cities. Cobra forever. That's really cool. Okay, now we're back to another costume. Uh, well, another how to make your own costume stuff cosplay. Uh, what, what is the helmet made of? Flimsy plastic. Very, very flimsy plastic. It breaks very easily. That's why I have like 30 of them. And uh, like, how are you able to see through that? Like, it's roughly it's the same as police glass, one side only. Um, uh, it's like any chance we can uh, get, a, get a shot of you like wearing the helmet? Of course. She was uh, also... Come on, you. Get out of there. That's really cool. That's really cool. And I, I, dude, I, I gotta take a picture of you doing that. Like. Okay, uh, so who are you dressing up as? I am dressed as Sailor Hawkeye today. I gotta say, it's a nice idea. Thank very, you. Very, very brilliant idea. At least, at least you're the first person to ever, like to think outside the box. Like finally, somebody doing like a, a crossover of anime, manga, and comic, American comic books. It's uh, not actually my design. I got it from another user on Tumblr. But um, I think I'm one of the first to cosplay the Avengers Sailor Moon crossover. Thing. I really like the design. So. Yeah, yeah, it was really good. Like an anime version of Kate Bishop. No, yes. Now, is the bow like real or like can you actually fire it if you want to? I have one that I have notched in that I can fire if I really didn't want to. Otherwise, it's just little wooden arrows. Okay. Made all myself. I gotta say, it's pretty good. It's, it's pretty good. I, I, I like I like the way how the costume looks and um, but, like there's this lady, the, another Hawkeye, Lady Hawkeye. She told me about you and like says like a, a classic Hawkeye. And, <laughs> And I, I gotta say, this is one of the best costumes I've ever seen. This is one of my, I think, the most popular one I've ever done. And I, I really like this one a lot. Well, yeah, like, uh, like I was gonna, well, right now I'm dressed up as the Punisher. <laughs> but, uh, I, like, I was kind of having this idea of, like, maybe I should, like, dress up as, like, Spider-Man and Naruto. You should I'll, do that crossover. That would be really cool. Oh, yeah, like, here's the thing. Like, I'm not allowed to, but... Yeah. Because I live under his law. So maybe I can just get a wig, but the only problem is that long hair. Yeah, and this, that, this is real. <laughs> this this is real. So, uh, so can we, can you like do like a quick pose of uh, you shooting the arrow? Oh, well, do you the, want natural arrow or? it's up to you. Yeah, probably easier without just because we're in a crowded room. But... Okay, thank you. Now we're back uh, doing another cosplay interview. Um, how to make your own costumes and stuff. So why don't you tell us uh, what you go by? My character or the... Uh, both. Both. Did you make your own costume or? Uh... Actually, my mom made the entire thing. She spent about two days nonstop. The uh, cuffs are made of earrings and beads, and I designed that. About oh. as much as I did. Oh, that's really nice. Maybe it makes me wish my mom did that for me, but I had to always have to make my own costumes and. I know, actually, she, actually she did, but a anyway, anyway, I, the costume looked definitely nice. No, I just didn't know. Do you have that metal, um... No, actually, I was waiting for the one to come out from GameStop, right. but I was going to do it, but I just didn't have time. Plus, this is, like, made out of leather and stuff. It's a very nice costume and uh, it's really nice. Okay, and I have here the Miss America, the Miss American Pie, the American Dream, Miss Captain America. Uh, I just want to say uh, I, I like.
like the way the costume looks. Um, I have no complaints about the costume except for one, which I'm not going to say it because one, I don't want to, I don't want you to throw your shield at me. Is it my helmet? Or no. Is it my shield? It's the. Uh, the fact that I'm a woman. No. I don't know. It's a star. It's a star. Oh well. Again, it, it, it was a last minute change. I started with the other Avengers, the other Captain America costume. Yeah. So uh, exactly, how do you make your own costume? Like, how long did it take you? Um. Well, it's a mixture of three different patterns. I had a pants pattern on its own, and then I used a shrug pattern, and then a sleeve pattern, and this whole middle section is uh, pieced on its own along with the back here. Um, it was, it has foam core in the center to make me less curvy, so it's, yeah. Yeah, so like, uh, like what are your boots made out of in your gloves? Uh? Well, don't forgive that, that was rude. Um, it's just regular superhero boots that I bought online and I bought motocross straps and shin guards and I attached them that way. And uh, can you like tell us how you make your own uh, utility belt and your shield? Uh, well, I bought the belt and I covered it in fabric. And each pouch is made of six different cuts of foam with the fabric glued on it and they're just kind of attached. And the shield is an old snow toboggan that I covered in pre plaster gauze and that I painted with just... Uh, I, was gonna, I was just about to say, like, what, I was about to ask you, like, is that made out of casting paper, but no. It's, yeah, it's pre plastic gauze, yeah. Well, like, you did better than I did. Like, I tried to make my own, um... I, I, I still want to do a better one. This could... Everyone wants to. Yeah. Like, I made my, my first attempt trying to do... I don't know if you read comic books, but the first, you know, like the first Captain America shield, like the kite-shaped one? Yeah. I, I actually have the, the real kite-shaped shield. I just, um... I tried to make a Captain America version of that. Yeah. Didn't work out so well because it wasn't big enough. So it really sucks. And, uh, and can you like tell us what you go by on YouTube? Uh, I'm sorry, what? Can you tell us what you go by on YouTube? Uh, I, have, I don't really have my YouTube account. I haven't been on in years. It was an old, uh, just an old uh, music video account that I don't really go on anymore. Oh, uh, really? Because I, I, I saw you in the... Uh, that, well, you and the actors, like as the Avengers and Skeletor, there. Right. And I, I thought you, I thought you guys go by Kineticon. Well, they, Kineticon has its own YouTube account, but we aren't personally on it. We, if we have a YouTube account, it's our own personal account. Yeah. So the costume looks completely good. Uh, looks great. Thank you. It's so better than I did, and um, and I've, uh, I've also been costuming since I was nine years old. So. I just started making my own. I, I started making my own costume like when I was. Um, well, ever, ever since I heard about Kineticon and. Um, yeah.